Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is currently, as of the time of this filming, January 1st. So... Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. That's a thing. Did we chase away 2023? Properly, we went to bed early. <laughs> I don't think I even heard fireworks going off. Did we win? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, what are we doing today? So, we are doing our plan for how we plan to be debt free in 2024 yes if you watch the previous videos specifically the last couple but also in general if you're not new here you know that our general feelings towards the sprint to debt freedom is that you can't sprint a marathon or you'll it'll die <laughs> basically so we're figuring out the plan to sprint because we're reasonably sure that if nothing catastrophic happens that we could be debt free by this time next year. By December 2024, yeah. as you see on the screen here. Yeah, with any luck, our 2024 Christmas present to us will be no more freaking debt payments mm -hmm. to anybody. So for like 20 minutes until our car breaks and we got to replace it on the deal. So but, we're gonna uh, we're gonna share like a debt confession, so like all of our current debts that we have right now, and then oh, okay. the strategy behind how we plan to pay off the debt. I'm, I'm glad you clarified what that was because I was like, what am I supposed to be confessing to? <laughs> <laughs> so let's jump into it. So debts. Now we've, so we started this technically in November. So some mm -hmm. debts have been paid off already, like our credit card. Mm -hmm. But currently right now we have $11,000 left owing on our consumer proposal. And that payment is $250 a month at 0% interest. We owe $2,400 to a cell phone company that is also at 0%. And then our car loan is $19,578 at 15.49%. Mm -hmm. That monthly payment is $501 a month. Because yeah, the <clears throat> bank's got to get their money. And then our completed debt was the Capital One card, which we did pay off. Mm -hmm. So our strategy is to make our minimum monthly payments of $901.75, and then an extra monthly payment of $380. This is fairly conservative. I mm -hmm. think that we can increase this in the back half of the year because Cody will get more money take home on his check. Yeah. For, with it being the new year, we're paying into CPP and OAS again, and it usually takes, I think, five-ish, five to six months mm -hmm. to pay that up, and then the checks get slightly bigger as a result of no longer having to contribute that. Mm -hmm. And then, so we have our one-time funding. So this is where we're really kicking our debts, but so... We have our quarterly carbon tax rebates of $386. That happens in January, April, July, and October. We have our tax refund in March, which mm -hmm. rests meaning about $5,000. It should be more than that, but our goal is five grand mm -hmm. towards debt. And then we have an extra paycheck in May and an extra paycheck in November. The one in May would be about $3,000, and the one in November would be about $3,300 because we're not paying into OAS and CBP mm -hmm. anymore. <clears throat> and then if Cody picks up just two overtime shifts in the year, I don't know what date these will be. I just plucked yeah. them in here for now. But if Cody works two overtime shifts, just two, that gives us enough money to pay off our debt mm -hmm. in full. Without well, doing cra crazy things like only eating one portion of ramen every other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you look, I'll flip over here to our YNAB budget real quick. So if you look at our YNAB budget, right at the top we still have our debt payments, our mm -hmm. consumer proposal, car payment bill, and then the debt snowball totaling twelve eighty one seventy five a month, which is... The same number as from over there. Yeah, twelve twelve eighty one seventy five. 75 so, we've still left room in here for, obviously, our main bills and our subscriptions, the things that we enjoy, mm -hmm. like our Apple One, my Aura Ring, Natural Cycles. This, for the kids, we're probably going to wind up canceling. It's a good thing we looked in here. YouTube Premium, <clears throat> obviously, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta we, keep those. We love the YouTube Premium. Mm -hmm. We tried getting rid of it a while ago, and I had to go back to watching commercials, and I'm just not about that life. Mm-hmm. We still have all our money in here for groceries, gas, coffee. We've even got stuff in here for like, you know, clothing mm -hmm. for the kids and toys. We have our fun money still in here, 120 bucks each a month. 
We have our dining out, our entertainment. Now we've significantly cut back. Mm -hmm. Dining out, the goal is 180 a month versus like 400 a month, which is what we were spending before. Mm -hmm. We still have entertainment, date night, family fun. All of our sinking funds are in here. We overspent on durables because we bought an office. Yeah, that's why we're in a new... Well, we have a refund coming towards this that mm-hmm. offsets it, but that is why we are in a different location is because we actually set up a filming room. Yeah, they, we wanted to for the, the longest time, and then the kids decided that they wanted to share a room and mm-hmm. do like sleepovers and stuff. So they helped us move all their beds over, and they got their, they're all posted up in their little room. Still working out the kinks. It's their first night, but they love it. They're very happy about it. Freya managed to go to sleep despite the fact that Gunner was just party animal like holy smokes. He is asleep now, that's why we're filming. And yeah, we're excited to have a filming space. We're very excited to have a filming space. We wanted a filming space for so long where we don't have to like bastardize the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Also, if you're wondering, <laughs> Cody's looking at himself in the I was looking at myself. Monitor yeah, I'm, there. I'm very handsome, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you are very handsome. <laughs> so we are doing the debt snowball method. The reason being that our first debt, which is the bell, gets paid off in three months. If you look here, they're all basically the same. Debt avalanche saves us almost a thousand dollars in interest, but mm-hmm. it would be five months until we pay off our first debt, and it would actually be like a week longer mm-hmm. versus if you know any of the other ones. Oh, that's a cool little thing. Or sorry, the debt snowball is two months and 23 days to the first step. So we're about momentum. We need that quick win, baby. If we don't get a quick yeah, win, it's hard to stick to it. We're all about the, the shiny thing, you know, the, the squirrel, the paper bag in the wind. We lose interest in shit real fast. Yeah. So we need results because real I know, fast. Because I know a lot of you are going to be like, but the car's at 15% and everything's at zero. You should pay off the car first. Mm-hmm. You're right. If we pay off the car first, we save $1,000 in interest. But in the grand scheme of things, a thousand bucks isn't nearly that important to me in relation to the fact that, I'll be honest, if it takes more than three months to get that first one down, now that we're like hitting it hard, I'm probably going to just give up. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can reevaluate like once we get the first step paid off if we want to tackle the car before the consumer proposal, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But that is, that is the goal. Yeah. That is the plan. Also, this uh, website is called debtpayoffplanner.com. There's a free version and a pro version. I pay for the annual, or I, I think I pay monthly. I don't actually remember. But I do think it's worth it to pay the upgrade. I don't think it was that much. But yeah, that's yeah. it. I know after our, our 2023 wrap-up and our 2024 budget tour, everybody was asking, we should shuffle this way a bit. You're not quite in frame. There you go. That's perfect. I lost my train of thought. After oh, yeah. the wrap up, people were asking dot dot dot. Yeah, people were asking for like our debt breakdown mm-hmm. and what we owed and when we plan to be debt free. And again, this plan doesn't take into account if Cody misses work or mm-hmm. if he gets sick, mm-hmm. but it also doesn't take into account if we get gifted money, if we sell things or around the if house. All of a sudden, coronavirus 2.0 shows up and they shut down my industry again and everybody goes home Mm -hmm. or if cody gets a raise at work or Mm -hmm. works more than two overtime shifts or you know it doesn't take into account the other 600 dollars extra we get every Mm -hmm. month through like july through december that we could put towards this so i'm i'm hoping that it'll all even out by the end of the year and Mm -hmm. we will be debt free by december yeah this is our conservative sprint to debt freedom this year mm-hmm. the calendar year 2024 holy balls it's 2024 I know. i'm gonna fuck up so much paperwork at work mm-hmm. writing 2023 yeah. starting tomorrow that's it that's all yeah that's it guys so hopefully uh you enjoyed the video leave any comments suggestions thoughts and we'll leave you here thanks for coming along we love you guys very much and is it payday yet bye, bye.